Hey guys, it's Fraser here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can install SQL Lite 3 and start using it in Windows 10. So if you could leave a like on the video, that would mean a lot. And with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so first what you want to do is come to the SQL Lite 3 download page. And what you want to do is scroll down to where it says the pre-compiled binaries for Windows, because we are going to download these from Windows 10. You could also download the pre-compiled binaries for Mac OS or Linux if you're on those systems. However, this tutorial is specifically for Windows 10, so we are going to download the Windows 10 pre-compiled binaries. So what you want to do is download this one, the SQLite Tools Windows 32 x86 file. Make sure you don't download the SQLite DLL files because they are um, they don't include the SQLite tools. So we're just going to click to download that and it will download it into our downloads folder. So if we go and open that up, so I'm just going to open that up right now. You can see that we have the SQLite tools in there. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract the files and uh, we're going to just extract them to our downloads folder for now. So I'm just going to click OK. And now they have been extracted. So if I double click in this folder and then double click in this folder again, you can see that we have our three application files and now what we're going to do is move these into a more permanent storage location because obviously we, you don't, we don't want them in the downloads folder because you can delete stuff from there and so what we're going to do is move them into our programs folders okay so what you want to do is go to this pc and then your primary drive and then under the uh, program files x86 we're going to create a new folder, so click new and then folder. And then we're going to, just going to call this SQL Lite 3. There we go. And then if we double click to enter this folder, what we're going to do is just copy all of these files. So press Control C and then press Control V. And then you'll need to click continue in this because we are in uh, a like we're in a protected folder, so it needs access from the administrator. So we're just gonna click continue and then it will copy all of these files into here. So now we can just delete these folders. And now what we want to go and do is go and into the search box below, we want to type environment variables. So just if you just enter EN, then it should pop up. So we're just going to click on this and then what we're going to come and do is go down to the environment variables here and then what we want to do is go up here and then we want to go to edit in fact sorry we want to go to new and then we want we want to give it a name so we're just going to give this SQL Lite 3 and then we're just going to browse for the file so it is under the C drive. So I'm just going to, and then and program files and then under the new folder that we created. And that is the application. So we're just going to click open and then we're going to click okay. And now that is it added to our system variables. So if you can just press okay now and then okay. Okay, so now that we have installed SQLite 3 to our computer, we want to add the location of the files to our path variable so that the command prompt knows where to look when we type in SQL3. So to do this, what we want to go and do is go down to the search bar and then type EN and then click on this button which says edit the system environment variables. And now the system properties tab should pop up. And if you just click the button which says environment variables down here, and then what we're going to do is go to the system variables bit at the bottom here and then scroll down to where it says path click on this and then click the edit button and then what we're going to do is go and hit new and then what we're going to do is find out where we downloaded the find out where we downloaded SQLite 3 so we're going to go into the C drive and then program files and then the new folder which we created and so we're just going to copy this whole path by pressing Control C and then we're just going to paste it in there. So then what we're going to do is exit out of all of these tabs by clicking OK. And then if we go into the command prompt and then type in SQL Lite 3, we can now see that it has been installed on our system and we are able to use it. 
and so if I just press quit then that is us done and you now have SQLite 3 installed on Windows 10. So if you enjoyed the video please leave a like, thanks for watching and bye bye.